This is Heart of Europe Festival, a new international event organized by the Polish television. This is my guest, Tom Luhatz, Head of Acquisitions and VOD at Estonian Public Broadcasters, ERR, Editor-in-Chief of Jupiter VOD Platform. Hello, great to see you in Warsaw. Hello, thank you for having me. <laughs> Organizing such a um, festival, Heart of Europe, showing the best TV productions of the region, is in your opinion a good idea? I think it's an excellent idea. Uh, otherwise, uh, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to uh, view as a jury member so many good and nice uh, productions from uh, from uh, Central Eastern Europe. And, uh, and I really have to say that I was astonished by the quality that I saw. And what does it mean to Estonia and the Estonian public uh, broadcasters to be aboard, uh, to be on board, and to be a part of this festival? We are very happy that uh, Morak Solon Lipinski uh, uh, invited us to, to participate here and I think that uh, first of all uh, we will also get uh, quite a number of uh, uh, interesting uh, new acquisition programs from, from this festival. So uh, we have our own interest here uh, also involved. And what are you showing here at the festival? What kind of uh, TV productions? Well, I think our main thing is the drama series called Traitor that we managed to do in co-production with the Elisa, which is a Montelco in Estonia. A lot of people are speaking about this series here in yes. Warsaw. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, it's uh, basically a spy drama uh, based loosely on uh, real-life uh, real events. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's quite remarkable that we, we managed to do it with a rather low budget, but, but the story and the plot or the narrative itself was so interesting that um, I have a reason to believe that um, no, this, at least we're not ashamed, let's put it this way. <laughs> Estonia all over the world is a, very, uh, is a country which is known as a very innovative country. So what can you tell us about the new trends in TV productions in Estonia? What are you doing? Two years ago, when the COVID started, we also started with the new video on demand platform, which is, which is called Jupiter. And it's uh, sort of public broadcasting free video on demand uh, platform. Sounds like uh, <laughs> like an oxymoron, but uh, but it <laughs> <A> really <bit. laughs> but it uh, but it is. It's free. It's available for all our all our viewers, and uh, and we managed to create it from the scratch. And right now, I have a reason to believe that this is number one in Estonia from VOD platforms overall. Uh, very close to Netflix, if we haven't passed it yet. So. Uh, uh, yeah, doing it was really, really interesting and, and very innovative experience in a sense that uh, that uh, I think that nobody really expected from the public broadcaster to come into this uh, startup scanner and start uh, sort of shaking something out there. And Jupiter carries both domestic and foreign offerings? Yes, uh, we, we show our domestic things, but also acquisitions. So the idea behind it is that if we acquire anyhow for our linear channels, ETV, ETV2 and ETV+, then we also acquire the rights for the non-linear platform, which is in this case the Jupiter, and, and we show our acquisition program together with our own production there, and, and, and the, the viewers uh, seem to enjoy it very much. Viewers in Estonia, but are you thinking also about the international audience? Uh, Regarding our own programming, yes. Regarding acquisitions programming, unfortunately, no, because we have some restrictions due to the licensing and we have to uh, maintain a, a keen eye on, on, on the fact that we don't want to, uh, we don't want to somehow break any, any license agreements. We are here in Warsaw uh, during this first edition of the festival to know each other a little bit better, but also to speak about what can we do to discuss what can we do together to be stronger. Do you believe uh, that uh, it is really uh, helpful when we're speaking about the competition, uh, the changes on the audiovisual sector, that being together for the public broadcasters of the region is something very interesting? I think it's very important to be together. It's very important for us to stick together, the Polish and Estonia and uh, Croatia, Serbia, Bulgaria, Lithuania, Latvia. Uh, because if I look at the, I was in the juries, in, in television and drama series juries, and when I look at the um, content, then I understand it very well 
we have the same history, we have the same culture, we, we basically share the same values. And you would think that uh, what do I have in common here in Poland with a guy from Estonia? But if we, if we look at each other's programming, then we actually understand that we are very close, uh, much closer than we may be thought. We have a lot of time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you uh, to you too. Uh, this was a short interview with Tom uh, Luhatz. Uh, but all the information about the festival, Heart of Europe Festival, is on our internet site, Heart of Europe TV PPL. So please stay with us.